I'll take proper precautions, but at the same time, I won't stop being myself. I won't stop being Johnny Weir, the gay, fabulous ice skater person walking down the street. That is openly gay American figure skater Johnny Weir, who says he won't boycott the Olympic Games in Russia despite that country's controversial law against homosexuality. George is back to talk about that and more. And we're joined by Christine Brennan from USA Today and LZ Granderson from ESPN, the magazine. Christine, I want to start with you. Do you think the Olympic Committee is really missing an opportunity to hear? I do, Martha. I think the International Olympic Committee could basically say to the Russian government, you must change this law. And here's why. It is a great gift and it's a great bargaining chip to have the Olympic Games given to a, a country. Uh, Russia, Putin wanted these Olympics more than anything. He himself uh, lobbied for the Olympic Games several years ago. So just as the opportunity was missed in China with dissidents being thrown in jail because the Olympics were held in China, the IOC missed an opportunity there to demand human rights change for generations. The same thing. And it's really quite extraordinary what's going on in Russia. Even if, even if they say they won't arrest anybody, you've got people attacking, uh, pro-gay rallies, all sorts of things well, going on. Well, exactly. And the Olympics, the, at the end of the day, Martha, the Olympics is about inclusion. This is all about having athletes of the world show up and come. Obviously, there's, there's, there's commercialism, et cetera. But the bottom line is this is a chance for the Olympics to tell Russia this is not acceptable for generations. LZ? Is the Obama administration missing an opportunity here? What do you think should happen? Well, absolutely. Not necessarily the Obama administration, but certainly his secretary of state. You know, in 2011, Hillary Clinton gave, you know, arguably one of the most historical speeches in U.N. history when she talked about gay rights being human rights. And this was John Kerry's opportunity to follow up with that, to show some consistency. The fact that we haven't really heard from him, from his office, regarding this issue. The fact that we had to have 83 lawmakers send a letter to him asking him to come out and say something in support of gay Olympians, I think is really, really a poor sign of consistency from the Secretary of State about gay rights being human rights. And I'll tell you one other thing. I'm more concerned about the gay people who are in, the LGBT people who are still going to be in Russia once the Olympics leave. That's the importance of the state, Secretary of State saying something, because it's not just about what happens to the people who visit, but it's about the people who live there and call Russia home. Thanks, Elsie. I want to move to baseball and steroids and A-Rod and what happens this week. And he's basically said, I'm in. I'm staying. George? The New York Times this morning reports that his lawyers are preparing for a lawsuit that could draw Major League Baseball into potentially embarrassing testimony. Who does he think is going to be embarrassed? The implication of that is that A-Rod is holding Major League Baseball hostage. He's taken himself hostage and is threatening to shoot himself. All the evidence, and it's, there's a mountain of it, that Major League Baseball has gathered is in the possession of the Players Association and A-Rod himself. He knows what he's looking at, and I think he'll settle. Christine. Well, and when you look at what happened with Ryan Braun last week, you know, he had been adamant that he had not done anything, and then he took the 65 game suspension. This is mountains of evidence that the bio, that Major League Baseball has uh, against all these baseball players, apparently 10 of them uh, in all. Uh, this is, uh, these are records, these are documents. This is not uh, your grandmother's or grandfather's drug test anymore. This is as if you were uh, trying to get evidence in a criminal trial. Major League Baseball has the goods on these guys, and A Rod is in big trouble. Thank you very much, and thanks to ULZ for joining us.